Churik, Mitchell Van de Sampel, and Sam Harding. David Tomasek, Alex Yule, Stephen Harper, Jake Marchman, and Aaron Barisha. Jake Marchman back after missing 11 games, so certainly a welcome addition back to the Bulls lineup after injuring his shoulder arm area. David Tomasek touches this one, and it will just clear the zone. Alex Lepkowski shooting it back in, the former Barry Colt. Certainly another big body and a welcome addition to this Oshawa Generals lineup coming near the trade deadline. Aaron Barisha on the back end. Moves it up to Stephen Harper. There's a chance. Nice pass, and Tomasek just missed that as we take a look at the Generals and what they have to offer up front and on the back end. Getting bumped from behind on the play, Will Pechenik as Oshawa will clear this one out, and the icing is waved off. He put it away. And for Owen McDade, if I'm just looking at his numbers, that might be his first OHL goal. It is. So another in this building this year. Of course, Owen McDade. Very happy with that one. The third rounder last year getting his first. And what a feeling that is. David Tomasak, he's turning around and trying to get it into the zone. He will. And behind the net. Tomasak bumps Lepkowski. He gets the puck back out front. And a nice battle check by Appleby on that play. And the puck goes out of harm's way. Goalie, give him a big long warm up and then put the other one back in. I guess the equivalent of a timeout, what we have now. But uh, certainly no warm up for these guys, and they, they are thrown into the fire. Chris Carlisle already with two assists in the game. Good start for him. And both those goals, one on the power play, one on specialty teams, as the puck gets moved in front. A good keep in at the line, and Remy Ellie on the coming out from the uh, corner, or uh, the side of the net, I'm sorry, Tim. Uh, front really does that well. It's a good patented play of his. Nicky Petty working the back end on the power plays. This one shot up, and Jake Marchman, I believe, his first shift of the game to this point, so we'll see how he moves into it. Harper and Castles on the drives. Pechenik goes off. Selentrop off the board. Good reaction by Petty. He kept it in. Stephen Harper now. Stephen Harper's got all day. Shot and just missed. Jake Marchman got a stick on that one. And it was a bobbler. Subban. Good movement by the Bulls on this power play. Harper. A bouncing pass. Belleville keep it in. Nice pass. David Tomasek down low. There's the shot. Appleby the save. Can't hold on to it. Marchman. He gets knocked down. Harper trying to find an option. And Harper will... Put it back to the point to Petty. Petty, Tomasek, Marchman in front. Back to Subban, nice play. There's the shot, Appleby the save. He tries to wrap it around. Back to the point again, Subban playing soccer on that one. A good play to keep it in, over a minute left in the power play. Petty, shot tipped in front by Marchman. It just goes up and wide. And this has been Belleville's best power play. Just terrific to watch right now. There's a pass to cross. Look at the movement of the puck. There's a one-timer, and this one ripped wide by Subban all the way down the ice, and that was domination by the Oshawa Generals on that uh, dominant power play by the Bulls and uh, Latour just trying to get a whistle, just trying to get an icing uh, went over the boards and uh, just for so much credit to the Belva Bulls power play. Castles and look at Jake Marchman getting down low for that draw and he wins it. He's going right to the net. He's not wasting any time. Carlisle will have to contend with the big body in front a good attempt there and Harper the backhand out front to Marchman almost got that one back to get it is Subban Nicky Petty he overskates it's Moscow it's good pressure far side Harper has it he's going to keep it a good smart play but look at the speed of Subban two steps and he just ran that down that, that was, was a in. terrific play my goodness Harper, right in front, Tomasek, he just missed on that one. Buck is loose behind the net, and Marchment almost gets it to Tomasek again. Belleville, three men down low right now. Recently, they had them up high. Petty, far side, Tomasek shot, Buck is loose, and just missed there. I thought Tomasek, he just did almost a half slap shot on the play. He's got it again. Subban coming in. There's the shot. What a save by Appleby. Another penalty coming up, and it's going to be against Jordan Subban this time. Just couldn't get the puck to him. 
Not a good pass there by Aaron Barisha. Too many sticks in front, and Oshawa takes over. And Aaron Barisha reads that one and intercepts that one. Barisha tried to get it to March, but only had one hand on the stick at the time of the pass. Scott Lawton. He's going to shoot this one up high. Smoskowitz knocks it down. Dylan Smoskowitz on top of the former Mississauga. Major. Just a great all-around person. There's some great, great human beings in this league. And Dylan Smoskowitz, one of the class acts for sure. DeRoche to Smoskowitz. He's trying to gain some speed. Far side of Harding. Here for Michael Del Cole. Latour, he moves it to Scott Lawton. Lawton trying to get around Subban doing a good job playing against the captain tonight. Of course, Josh Brown out of the lineup. And look at the two players working together on that play, Marchman and Subban. And now Belleville, one of their, you'd have to say physically their biggest line with Thomas Eck and Harper and Marchman. Puck is dangled back in. 58 seconds to go coming up in the first intermission. A chat with Justice Dundas. A feature with Daniel Altshuler, who's got the night off. And, of course, Wayne's play of the period. That's all coming up, plus a look at your standings as well. Stephen Harper shoots this one, and it will dangle into the corner off the stick of Sullentrop. There's a big chance. Look at Adam Bignall all the time and gets that one, and it was right underneath Sullentrop. We don't get a chance to see Adam Bignall's slap shot too much. I'm not sure... Uh, how hard it is, he always tries to be accurate with his shot, and that one just blocked a little, but he did have a player in front. There's the shot, tipped, and a good job by Solentrop to not let Marchman get to the net. Aaron Barisha read that play well, and now he's got Marchman coming in. Marchman drops it for Harper. Harper in front, and just a close call there. Scott Lawton was playing back on D for that one. A few seconds left. Dundas stops. Shoots wide, and that's it for the first. Very interesting. And Harper have been a strong force for the Bulls this uh, this first period so far. Boy, do they ever welcome Marchman back. Just didn't realize what a key role he plays on this team until you see him not in the lineup. Puck is shot into the zone. This one right on Appleby, and he'll leave it for his defenseman. With it is Alex Ewell. Now Tomasek with a great pass by Tomasek to Harper. Back to Tomasek. Oshawa charging back and Harper trying to break up the three on two. He's done so. Sean right on to Jigavaz. He'll hold on to this one. 11 right now for the Bulls. Latour has it. Latour, look at the moves and good footwork by Jordan Subban to make sure that puck didn't get through. turnover by Marchman, but was so hard of a shot that couldn't stop him. This one cleared out. Subin to retrieve. The Rexdale native trying to find an opening. He elects to go to his veteran defense partner, Bignall. As this one hits the boards and gets shot in. Mitchell Vandesom. Thomas He picks it up. It's behind the net. Jake Marchman. Harper trying to get to it. Marchman with it now. There it is out front. The puck is loose. They whack away. Marchman and Smith both go down. That's a lot of weight down on the ice. And Appleby without a stick. Marchman coming out front. Harper. Harper, some nice moves back and forth. The goalie without a stick shot. They wave it off. The play continues. I was for, thought for sure that was in. And no goal light came on. It was either in and out or off some sort of equipment of the goaltender. But it even fooled the referees. I mean, the one referee did wave it off, but there was no thought that it was even in by the goal judge. And that's usually a key indicator because nobody has the view he does, not even the referees. Sometimes not even the goaltender, depending whose rear ends in front of him. There's a chance right out front. Appleby with his stick down, and he blocks this one out. Smoskowitz skating up, the former major. Smoskowitz, there's the shot on, and Jigavaz square to it, but very deep in his net. Can't get this one into the zone, and up to Marchman it goes. Jake Marchman all alone, and so he's just killing time by himself. Tried to dipsy-doodle around Scott Lawton. Harper down to Marchman. 
Bodies that one well. In back after missing 11 straight with an upper body injury. Good word from Justin Lemke that he has been skating. A possibility for a week from now. George Burnett said if we asked Justin, he'd be playing. But of course, that's why they don't get to make those decisions. He was saying he wanted to play this weekend up north. But maybe a little bit premature. Hunter Smith tips this in with 6.17 remaining. Tomasek to Marchman, back to Tomasek. Jordan Subban joining the going down. Lots of room for Jacob Bush. Jacob Bush comes in, shot, and is stopped by Jigabaz. And so it gives a little bit of depth to the Bulls. The key there, the fact that Marchman is back in the lineup gives him that flexibility to do that. Dal Cole with it. Just rims it back in behind the net, and Castles will get to it. Dal Cole, quick shot, misses, and this one will clear out as we get towards four minutes remaining in the period. Again, when we come in the first to check in on the future of the Bulls with Coach George Burnett, Wayne's play of the period. A check around the O, and an interview with Mark Raycroft, defenseman for Belleville, the former Brampton Battalion pick. Benchka. Remy Alley has it. Turns back, and Castles going for the puck. No call. Dundas. And Alley gets knocked down this one down the ice. And what a couple of shifts by the Belleville Bulls, and the crowd responds appropriately. Face off one by Marchman, but he put it to Wallace. Wallace has it right in front, and that was a huge tip by Michael Jigabaz because Hunter was on the outside of Adam Bignall and had the reach advantage. Lepkowski shoots it in. And that play by Jacob has a simple one, but may come back to be an important one because Hunter Smith had to stick down in a good half of the net. The Curtis native just outside of Oshawa versus the Oshawa captain tonight. Tomasek to Harper. Marchman is wide open in front. They couldn't get the puck to him. He just hit a body and now out. Three on two, 17 seconds. Lots of time for Oshawa. Del Cole, look at Lawton going to the net. Just missed the pass. Lawton, he turns back. Drops it down low, Castles. Cross ice pass, DeRoche, wrist shot. Blockered away by Jigabaz. Puck goes up high, they don't know where it is, Lawton. That one off of Subban. And a good play at the end there. Three guys you don't want on the ice in the last minute for the Bulls. It's gonna be a fun finish if the game continues the way it is. And we're back underway tonight. Hunter Smith loses control of that one. Solentrop now will move it across. Smith misses this one. Harding will put it down low, and Bignall versus Smith, maybe five or ten pounds difference between the two of them, but can measure Hart with the size of the player. Marchman comes in, there's the shot, rebound, and getting knocked down was Harper. Marchman and Latour in the draw. Nice set face-off play on that one, and now Barisha walking in, there's the shot, a hit off of Marchman and Latour. And now it will be Hunter Smith chipping it out. Stephen Harper doing a good job coming back for this one. We'll get it up to Marchman off his foot, foot pardon me, and into the zone. Tomasek on the backhand. Harper now. He's skating back, trying to create some room. Marchman to Tomasek. Back to the point to Barisha. Barisha, he was patient and waited for the lane before he shot that one. A smart move. Hunter Smith, he gets the puck in a give and go. Across the line, misses by three feet. Someone dropped back in, but not long lasting as Barisha, this was up for Marchman and not to him, and this one will go down for icing. Then Chad Heffernan right now. <laughs> a tough situation and a momentum shift. But out of these situations come growth in players, and we'll see if somebody like Chad Heffernan can come up with the next big hit, the next big play, because Oshawa has a two-goal lead now, and Belleville will soon have to start 
looking at what to do to take some chances as we cross the five minute mark of this period. And this is a very tough team to take chances against. Marchman, look at Marchman out front. Trying to come around and Appleby the stop there. Good interception and read by Barisha on the play. Barisha, nice play by McDade to break that up. And now Barisha's going to get called for a penalty. No, it's going to be McDade. Harper coming down. Harper cuts in around Fetchany. And now Belleville going to go to the power play. And now they're both on the board. Smoskowitz happy to kill some time. And Alex Ewell is going to have to go off the ice. He lost his helmet. Jordan Subban. What a pass into Harper. Harper loses it and trying to get the pass back across Harding and Smoskowitz going to kill some time. A good play by Dylan Smoskowitz. And Belleville couldn't set up with all five. 35 seconds left in the penalty to Owen McDade. Nikki Petty is in. Across to Harper. Harper to Marchman. There's a chance in front. Thomas X scores! been a, a shifting tide here in this game tonight in the momentum part there's Tomasek working down low coming out from the corner and just it in time nice stop there by Marchman Dundas right chirping to Marchman on the play Marchman nice move he's got Tomasek with him Marchman, great pass to Barisha, who waits, turns around, and this one will get cleared out. And look at Barisha and Dundas racing for this one. Ramiro's intercepts. Tomasek, he's going to be one on two. Weird play by Tomasek. I think he was falling and tried to hold on to the putt. It's Moskowitz. This one's off the glass and out. Marchman and Castles in the draw. Three straight goals by the Bulls. It's funny how things work out. Brace tried to get into the zone, ran into the linesman, and couldn't. And now look at David Tomasek. He's trying to cut in, miss the puck. There's a shot by Marchman behind the net. Takes a weird bounce. Barisha shoots behind the net now again. Lepkowski will ice it. Trailing after the second, they are 1-32. Three and one. One thirty-two, three and one. One thirty-two. Well, we'll continue the game because still hockey left. So what a character win this would be. But look at Scott Lawton walking in. And any time you get a lead with this team, you can't be comfortable. Look at the moves, waiting for his team to get on. Nice play, Barisha. Simple pass by Jake Marchman, gets it up to Heffernan. Heffernan, he's going to flip it high and into the zone. Lepkowski trying to calm the bouncing puck, and a good idea by Barisha not to pinch on that play. He was going to and then thought better of it. He's going to go off for a change so Yule can come on the ice. Nice play by Marchman to keep the puck going. Wallace trying to fish it out. Tomasek, he gives it to... Subban. Nice play by Lepkowski to come up to the line and force Subban to dump it in. Good read by Lepkowski. Hard hit. Pechenig and Harper into the zone. Smith runs Alex Ewell. Simple hit, but effective. Quick shot by Harper, who reared back on that one. Subban back in, and there is Marchman trying to move the puck. Back to the point to Ewell. Marchman and bouncing this one up is Tomasek who has two goals in the game. And there's the one second Oshawa needed. Tomasek up to Harper. Harper into the zone. Tomasek, he's going to backhand it to the far side. Marchman. Harding loses his stick. He gets it back quickly. Good recovery. Hunter Smith, he's just going to flip it up to Latour. Barisha plays that well. Adam Bigma, watch out. Hunter Smith just missed him. 
Van de Sample to Carlisle. Off the boards up high, and this one's going to bounce into Bell.